Welcome back to Hannity. Now, last week, Mr. President spread the wealth. He announced his lofty plan to make community college free, free, free for everyone, except, of course, you, the taxpayers. Now, naturally, members of the Hollywood elite, they rushed to support the president. What he says will be $60 billion, his proposal included among them Tom Hanks, who went to community college after high school. Now, he submitted an op-ed to the New York Times, and he wrote, quote, I'm guessing the new Congress will squawk at the $60 billion price tag, but I hope the idea sticks because more veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan this time, as well as another generation of mothers, single parents, and workers who have been out of the job market need lower obstacles between now and the next chapter of their lives. Here with the debate for Obama's college proposal, two college students, chairman of the New York Federation of College Republicans, John Castamides is with us, as well as the president of Yale University College Democrats, Tyler Blackman. All right, you're a big Dem, Lib. He says it's $60 billion. Um, why should the American taxpayer pay for even more failing government schools? Why should they pay for that? So I think the $60 billion is obviously a big number, and that sort of shocks people. You think $60 billion is big, really? But, so I think $60 billion what is a big number. What if it's more than that, but, like health care is costing more? What if it's uh, four times that amount, which is usually the case? Here's another big number for you. $1.2 trillion. That's how much debt American, how much student debt Americans have right now. 40 million people in this country still have an outstanding student debt, um, and that's up from 29 now, my question. million. Why should Americans that work hard and pay their taxes, and maybe they'd like to go to college, but they can't afford it. They can't afford a new car. They can't afford to buy a house. They have to wait years and build up money so that they can put a down payment on, on a house or a car. Why should you look in the camera? You tell those hardworking Americans why 60 or 100 billion of their dollars need to go to students to pay for their college. Well, we, why? we want the economy to grow again. And we know that this is actually the best way to, to go about growing the economy by investing what do you mean in we education. Know this? Investing well, in education. We, we Don't we do that from, from kindergarten to high school? No, we, we do you think do you think our generally speaking our public school system is a success or a failure? I think failure. I think education failure. is definitely a success. If if someone wants to get ahead of this education world, is the American a success. dream. I didn't ask you is, that. Is American public schools a success or a failure? It would be much greater failure if it were underfunded even more so. All right. So the fundamental question we have to ask is, is investing in community college worth it? Uh, we not only have an education crisis, we have a jobs crisis as well. Uh, why are we spending all this money on community college when we need to focus on the public, edu uh, public school system, like you said? Is two years of community college going to make up for 18 years in a failing public school system? Well I don't think so. Let me ask this question. Do you know how much debt we have as a country right now? Yeah, about 17 trillion. So about it's about going to 18 trillion. You know how much in, in terms of unfunded liabilities we have as a country? No, 100 trillion. Wait a minute. That all of that money we have robbed both of you blind. How do you think we're going to pay all that money back? How about creating jobs and investing in education? You're going to so let us drill can... for oil? And, how, don't, don't distract. No, you're from against the that. No, don't distract. Can from we the drill for oil, Let's or are you against about... drilling? I'm, no one's against drilling, at period. But let's talk about how we want to grow our economy. We know we live in a 21st century world. We want to be able to All right, I see you reading students. your notes there, but that's not the important part. I'm asking you, would you as a liberal support drilling and jobs in the energy sector? Drilling, fracking, coal mining, do you support those? To moderate degrees, but I also recognize moderate that those degrees. are only temporary solutions towards moving towards renewable energy. I absolutely uh, support them, as we've seen in Pennsylvania and other states that have legalized Pennsylvania, the Balkans, and, and North Dakota. Job boon. Job absolutely. boon. Yeah, do you think that's a permanent solution? I think it's a solution that would be the biggest economic boom this country has ever seen. Not to mention it reduces our dependency on foreign oil. Huge national security benefit. Wouldn't you agree? We in the but short, we in the short term, in the short term, it is fine to be doing uh, to drill for oil. But in the long term, we have to have a more creative solutions than that. Uh, I'll that tell you and what, that's why we need to equip people. Let me ask you a question. Education. How about you, Tom Hanks, and all you Hollywood liberal friends and you Yale guys? <laughs> why don't you guys, if you want to sponsor a kid to go to community college, why don't you do it personally instead of taking from the nurses, the contractors, the electricians, and the, and the plumbers that pay those bills? Why don't we do that way? Because we want to invest in these people so that eventually they become taxpayers. That's why I actually think but that the average program... American gives half their income in taxes. Is that too much? How much? At what point do you say out of every dollar 
that a person pays in taxes, state, local, federal taxes, property taxes, is enough? I think we get it all back. Uh, we invest in, in our no, country. No, no. Do you think, how much taking from one individual is too much? How much should you say enough government, they, they get enough money? It depends on your income. Okay. How much? So I may think if, if you're in the very lowest uh, brackets, the, then we shouldn't be taking income taxes out, but that doesn't mean that we're not taking out the sales taxes. The bottom 50% percent of wage earners only pay 3% of the bill. Did you know why, that? But why would we want the them to pay more? The top 1% pays 38%. Is that enough? I, it doesn't seem unfair to me because we want, uh, we want this society to be funded. Uh, um, society through, to be funded. We, we, want, we want to be able to have um, uh, the kind of programs where we are building roads and we, we are investing in our education system. And we have to fund that somewhere. Right. We, the good we would news obviously... for you is Winston Churchill said, if you're 20 and not a liberal, you don't have a heart. <laughs> I think you have a heart. If you're 40, though, and you're not a conservative then you come back on the program and I'll have to say you don't have a brain. <laughs> Once you start paying those bills, you're going to have a different take. Good to see you. And coming up,